Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. Hebrews 6 and verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Let's look up this word, forget. The pronunciation and the Strong's G. Strong's G, 1950, Epilanthanamai. Epilanthanamai. It says, to forget, neglecting, no longer caring for. So, when we go back to the book of Hebrews 6 and 10, it says, for the Most High is not unrighteous, there is no unrighteousness in the Most High, to forget, meaning to stop caring for your work, and labor of love. So those that continue in the legacy of Yahweh Shai, which is the legacy to teach, all right, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, Yahweh Shai was daily in the temple teaching, and those that the Most High have given unto Yahweh Shai through the gift of faith, the Most High is not going to be unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. All right, what is the work? Putting your hand to the plow, going out on the highways, byways, and hedges, week in and week out, in season and out of season, and throughout the week doing sit-downs in the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? Continuing in that legacy, which is to teach the people, which is to prophesy, all right? Which is to edify, all right? It says, for the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, all right? Which is uh, putting forth this light, putting forth this truth, all right? Because we are represented, all right? as the candlesticks. And what does a candlestick do? A candlestick holds a candle that holds the light, all right? So the Most High have lit our candle through Yahweh Shai, supping with our brains, supping with our spirits, all right? Supping with our minds, all right? It goes back uh, to the heart, okay? Heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means what? Your mind. Now, the book of St. Matthew, speaking of that light, St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14, it says, Ye are the light of the world. Now, those that the Most High have allowed to come to Yahweh Shai or allowed to come unto uh, the altar or come um, within the temple, okay, he have lit your candle, meaning he have given you Yahweh Shai. It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, and we are set in that high place. That's why you can't uh, hide this city, which is the elect, all right? Those that follow Yahweh Shai, verse 15, neither do a man light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. So the Most High through Yahweh Shai have lit our candle, all right? Meaning giving us Yahweh Shai, which is giving us that light in a time of gross darkness, and we are holding that light. And putting forth that light, being those candlesticks, it says, and give of it light unto all that are in the house. So we are um, illuminating the house of David. Verse 16, it says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. And the Most High is not going to be unrighteous to forget that. Hebrews 6 and 10 again, for the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, all right, which ye have shrewd towards his name, and we do this in the name Jehovah Wah Yehovah Shai, and that ye have ministered to the saints, and the word minister goes back to serving, okay? The saints are those that are believers, okay? Now, we're also serving two-thirds, telling them that they're going to die unless they come back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai, which is repenting, all right? But we're mainly serving those that are hearers, 
meaning those that understand this truth and that can receive this light. It says, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right. It says, and do minister, meaning Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is in the mindset of what have you done for me lately? And what are you going to continue to do? Not what you've done in the past and not what you're doing right now, but what you're going to continue to do. All right. And we want to continue to what? Serve Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, because the Most High is not going to forget that. He's not going to take his care from up off of you. All right, we're coming in the times where the, the secret counsel of the wicked, all right, is finna be manifest. All right, just like our King David said, we want to be hid from that. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, in verse 2, it says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, hear my voice, O my power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. And if we continue in this work, all right, those that have put their hand to the plow, which is prophesying in the name of Yahweh Shah, all right, we're going to be preserved. Our life is going to be preserved, all right, from the enemy, which is the wicked elites. Verse 2, hide me from the secret, secret counsel of the wicked. And what is the secret counsel of the wicked? All right, the wicked elites. The wicked being Esau as a whole, the so-called modern-day white race as a whole, but the wicked elites, all right? They are the uh, the summit of the wicked. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the physical counterpart of the spiritual being Satan, which is the wicked elites. Now, by us continuing in the work and labor of love, the Most High is going to grant that. All right, He's going to hide us in that time. We're going to have Yahweh Shai protecting us in that time. But we must continue in the work and the labor of love in order for the Most High to do that through Yahweh Shai. All right. And those that have not put their hand to the plow but believe, the scripture speaks about uh, you're going to receive a what? Prophet's reward. Because you're what? Also doing the works of the Most High just by what? Believing. St. John chapter 6. And verse. Verse 28, it says, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High? Yahweh Shah said, Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he have sent. So those that are believing upon the words that the prophets are putting forth, you're also doing the works of the Most High by what? Believing. All right? And you want to continue in that. Because the Most High is going to honor that, all right, in that day, okay, in the days to come, such as what? The Jacob's trouble, pursuant to the book of Jeremiah 30 and 7, okay? Now, we want to have that mindset at all times because that's going to um, show that we are disciples of Yahweh Shai by what? Continuing in the work, okay, continuing to labor in that love. St. John 13 when I speak of the love, I speak of what? The light that we have received, all right? This knowledge that we have received. That's the love, not the kernel love, all right? That's that's the spiritual love that, he, that we have received, which is Yahweh Shai is supping with us. Matter of fact, St. John 15 In verse 15, it says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. See that? That's receiving that light. Okay? Now, if we continue in that, all men are going to know that we are disciples of Yahweh Shai. All right? St. John, chapter 13, and... Verse 34, it says, a new commandment I have given unto you that ye love one another. All right, that's that light. That's that spiritual love, all right, which is putting forth this truth, not the physical uh, love. It says that ye love one another as I have loved you. We just read it, St. John 15 and 15. How did Yahweh Shai love us? By giving us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that was given, all right, unto him of his father. It says that ye love one another 
as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Verse 35, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one to another. So we want to continue in that work, which is putting forth that light here in this gross darkness. By this, all men shall know that we are disciples of Yahweh Shai. All right. And by us continuing to perform that, once again, the Most High, it's not unrighteous to forget that, that work and labor of love, which is what? Teaching. Okay. Because that's having the mindset of Yahweh Shai. That's a form of laying down your life, just like Yahweh Shai did. Now, Yahweh Shai actually physically laid down his life for the elect, but a form of us doing that is teaching week in and week out, in season and out of season, throughout the week, putting up um, sit-downs, okay? Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3, it says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Verse 4, looking not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. And ultimately, Yahweh Shah did that, all right? He didn't... Um, take it so personal that, you know, he didn't complete the will of the Most High. Now, he was in the flesh, all right? He he, he was in the flesh, and Yahweh Shai got weak for a moment, okay? But he continued. He girded up his loins, and he continued because he didn't look upon his own situation. He was thinking about the mission that he had to uh, accomplish, which is dying for the elect. So it says, looking not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. So that's why we want to continue. Okay. And what? The labor of love. All right. Because it's benefits. The Most High is going gonna, is gonna to hide us once again in that day. All right. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 4. In verse 6, it says, And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat. And that shadow goes back to what? Protection. It says, And for a place of refuge, all right, and for a cover from storm and from rain, all right? And that's going to be when Esau Edom, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, the secret council, come in as a flood. We're going to be here. The standard is going to be set up. We're going to have a way to escape. Okay? Now, that ultimate rain and storm is going to come by the way of those 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. And that's going to what? Take salvation. See that? Those are the benefits for us continuing in the work and the labor of love that the Most High is not going to forget if we continue. Those are the benefits. That's why the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 18 tells us, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. See that? Now, we are ultimately looking for what? Salvation, all right? And by us performing what we're performing, it's going to lead to salvation. Two-thirds of our people don't believe that. They think that we're doing this in vain, but we're not. This is going to lead to your salvation, okay? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 9, it says, Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, and that's what we're doing, we're warning the wickedness of our people, all right, for for them to what? Uh, turn from it. Meaning Isaiah 55 and 6, repent. Turn back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. But it says, if he do not turn from his ways, which two-thirds are not going to do, he shall die in his iniquity. But, this is the point, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So by us uh, putting forth this light, continuing in the legacy of Yahweh Shah, which is to teach, it's going to lead to what? Deliverance. All right? Because that's the whole goal, is deliverance. All right? So, the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, and verse 10, it says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shrewd towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shah, 
Waha Raka Quidash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. DTA, Ababa Ball. Soon.